anything that can turn that red gives uh, hydroxide yeah. and that turns red litmus to blue right okay and any base that is soluble in water is also known as alkali okay. okay now in this also likewise we have a strong base and a weak base here we don't talk in terms like in acids we talk in terms of inorganic organic generally here we don't talk in terms of that now likewise a BOH okay I'm giving you a simple one first the general reaction if complete dissociation takes place it is a strong base meaning at the end of the process only these two will be left this one will not be there and the weak base is something which undergoes incomplete dissociation okay it is a reversible process now if you look at it i have been putting the straight arrow straight arrow is for a re irreversible process okay but this arrow going forward and backward is used for reversible process so in this case there is incomplete dissociation, meaning POH will also be present in the solution, B positive will also be present, and OH negative will also be present. Now, if we take an example, okay, if we add sodium hydroxide to water, we will get sodium ions and hydroxide ions but no NaOH. But if I take ammonium hydroxide, then it becomes a reversible process where we are going to get ammonium ions and hydroxide ions. Take it. So this becomes a weak base. So this is the basic classification of bases. Okay, any doubt? No, that's good. Okay. Now, 